Hey budgeties, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name is Mo, I'm 28, working on my financial freedom journey. And if you're returning, hey friend. So in this video, we're gonna go over the second paycheck budget for the month of February. So this is my second paycheck as well as my husband's second paycheck. And my husband also got his commission check. So we're actually gonna go over that because the numbers is looking kind of good, okay? Um, but before we get into it, a couple things. I'm drinking chai tea latte. I went to Panera. You know, don't don't come for me, okay? The, we didn't have any milk in the house. So I decided to drive to Panera. I'm just saying. Um, another thing is Black Friday. I said Black Friday. Black History Month sale. I do have a Black History Month sale on paperbymo.com. It's for all digital planners. So y'all make sure y'all go check that out. It's for the, if not the whole month, most of the month. So make sure you go paperbymo.com. Go get you, you know, a sale. It's literally a whole bunch of different digital planners um, that you can download and print off. And then another one is the giveaway. Um, I haven't opened up the giveaway yet, but I have decided it's just going to be two winners. Um, there's going to be two prizes for both winners. So it's going to be a 12 month, Mo budget, less problems budget planner as well as a gift card. Okay, so that's what I've decided to do. For the giveaway winners, um, I have to figure out the details and the rules. So I'll get on that. And when I know, I'm going to let y'all know. Okay, so let's get into this. <clears throat> let's get on to February. As you can see, payday, payday, pay, pay, payday. So it's kind of rainy here. Um, so there's that. And I actually am one of those people that I kind of like the rain. I mean, as long as I don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> if I don't have to be outside, I'm okay with the rain. It is the uh, 16th. So let's put that up here. Make sure y'all can see because I know how it be sometimes. Move this back a little bit. Okay. So let me make sure it's the second one. It is. Okay, so we're going to say 02 slash 16 slash 24. I probably should have did my husband's commission check first, but I didn't. Life. So paycheck number two. Let's get into the numbers. I probably should put the numbers on the actual. I think I'm going to do both because I know they're actual. So I do, we do zero-based budgeting. So when we start off, we usually start off $0 in the account already. Okay. So my paycheck, I'm gonna go ahead and put Mo's full-time and then O's full-time. Okay, so for me, my salary, I'm about at the same every month. So every month, every paycheck is $2,265. I have a lot of money coming out for my 401k. Um, and our healthcare comes out of my thing, my check, cause it could definitely be very much so higher. But this is where we are. My husband, um, since he's hourly, he actually does not have a 401k. So that's something we're just like trying to figure out how we want to go about. We are doing his IRA contributions, but we just want to figure out, you know, because we want to retire early. So like, so this was his income, $1,610.21. I think I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate it over here. No, I'll wait. I'll wait to close it out because you never know, you know, you never know. So we're gonna do 2,600. Ooh, I'm speaking up 2,600. I love this for us. 2,262 dollars dot 65 plus 1610 dot 21. Okay, so that's 3,872 dollars and 86 cents. Now I'm mad at this. 3,872 dot 86. Okay. <clears throat> Now, if you don't know, when we usually do our bills, we make that first bill bill heavy, but we also split our rent. Okay, okay. Um, and it's not for the month we're in, it's for the next month, okay? So our rent is 1608, so 804 times two is 1608. So that's what we do. Um, and all the other bills come out that first paycheck. I like to do the first one just, bill heavy just because just because i know like i don't know why not and then the second bill since we do get paid bi-weekly i like to make that a little bit more towards debt because that's another goal of ours is to pay off our debt okay so rent here we're gonna put the actual being 804 
again that's the only fixed expenses aka bill we have here so that total is going to be eight hundred and four dollars so now we have three thousand eight hundred seventy two dollars and eighty six cents and we're going to subtract eight zero four we have three thousand sixty eight eighty six okay three thousand sixty eight dot eighty six um what should we do next we're gonna go to variable we're gonna go take it from rent and we're gonna move on over to variable expenses <clears throat> First thing we have is food. So I don't know if you guys saw, like previously we was struggling to try to stay within budget um, when it came to food. Last month we did pretty good. And then a lot of people love to say, oh, I, and I say this all the time because I always get the comments, oh, you don't know how to budget correctly or you gotta have a list. You gotta know what meals you're gonna eat. That's not our problem, y'all. It's portions, okay? Um, my husband eats a lot, I eat a lot. But we don't usually have like leftovers left. So we have to do, we have to ration out our portions when we cook, which I'm perfectly fine with, right? So what I am trying to do now is go to Sam's Club because I feel like Sam's Club gives you bigger portions. And um, from there, we can actually have stuff left over for lunch the next day, dinner the next day or whatever. And we don't have to just like have that meal that one time because that's what's been happening. Well, grocery shop well i'll do like three meals a week but those three meals a week will only feed us for three days and like no we need more than that so now we're doing sam's club shopping and sam's club is expensive on the front end but we're hoping <laughs> fingers crossed that we could benefit on the back end okay so that's the goal there okay so i went ahead and did a variable expenses so we have food we have gas his car gas my car gas 30 his is 30 miles is 30 um my fun is 50 his fun is 50 and then we're gonna also have um sinking funds which is gonna make it a little harder for me i think because no i don't think so i think i wrote it down okay yeah so sinking funds is gonna be 313 dollars if you're like girl what that's an ugly three the reason why we're doing a little bit more for sinking funds is because we kind of really didn't do too much for sinking funds so Yes, and singing funds is not going to be our his and hers. We're going to calculate that out. It's going to be like our hurricane fund, our home fund, some things we need to do, buy for the house. We need like um, toothpaste. We need deodorant, toothbrushes, stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to add these numbers up. Hopefully, y'all can see this. So, we have 200 plus 30 plus 30 plus 100, 30, 30, 100, and then plus 3. Mm -mm. So let's start off with 313 plus 100 plus 60 plus 200. 673. One more time because I don't like that. 200 plus 30 plus 30 plus 100, 50 and 50 plus 313. Okay, 673. Just to make sure, y'all, just gotta make sure. Whatever. Okay, so now we're going to take 673. We're going to subtract that from 3,068.86. 3, 3, so we have $2,395.86. Okay. $2,395.86. Okay, so now we're going to go from the variable savings, from the variable to the savings. I said from the variable savings. So from variable to savings, boom. First things first, we're doing our IRAs. If you don't know, we are trying to max out on our IRAs. Um, so we get $291 a paycheck for his and $291 to mine. Okay. And then we have oh, our his and hers. If you don't know, I am married. But we're having a wedding, we're paying for it um, with the help of our parents. But, well, really with the help of my parents, but still, we're paying for it. So that's $200. And then um, I decided to not give my, my husband like too much on his emergency fund because I said I decided, we decided because he's gonna give it more for his commission. And you'll see that because I'm gonna do that as well. So his emergency fund was only getting $60. And if you don't know, he's trying to get his emergency fund up to 10,000. 
I'm there. That's not our end goal, but we want to get him to equal. He wants to get him, honestly, to the 10,000 before we move forward. So we're getting him to 10 grand. Once he gets to his 10 grand, then we're, I think we're going to try to do either 15 or 20 per person. And if you're like, why is it separated and split it? Well, one, we're newlyweds. We don't have the saving accounts together yet. And second, I don't know, like life. That's just, it's been kind of tedious to get accounts together. So this is just where we are. But as I say that, we are giving me a little bit of money <laughs> for my emergency fund. So that's $50. So there's that. So $291 for his IRA, $291 for my IRA. His and hers, $200. His emergency fund, $60. My emergency fund, $50. And let's calculate these numbers. So we got $291. And we're going to times that by two. $582. Okay. And then we're going to plus $200. And then we're going to plus $60 plus 50 and we have 892 okay the total is 892 so we're gonna take 892 we're gonna subtract from two thousand three hundred ninety five dollars dot 86 so now we have 1503.86 okay one thousand five hundred three dollars and eighty six cents when we bring it over here to debt student loans we're giving this a total of $1,503. That's the total here, $1,503. And we'll be remaining 86 cents. If you're like, girl, you said zero-based budget. Anything extra, we try to put towards my husband's emergency fund at the end of the month or at the end of the two weeks. But most times we really don't even be having extra like that. So there's that. So the reason the 1503, we're trying to do for the first quarter, 2,500 a month towards our student loans. So let's just do some numbers. Um, 300 is his bill, 197. 197 is my bill. The reason I didn't put it in is because it's supposed to come out automatic and it hasn't, which irked me. So I had to go in and do it myself, but I'm waiting for it to hit. So that's 497. Then we put an extra $500, that's 997. Okay, and then plus 1503. That's $2,500. Now, if I get paid from YouTube, any money I get from YouTube goes towards my student loans. So that would be an extra um, payment. <laughs> I'm like, but yeah, it would be extra payment. So there, right there, that's $2,500. This is our budget for our second paycheck. I'm just gonna go through like what we would take out in cash. Um, we were gonna take gas out, but because we get it from Sam's Cub and Sam's Cub um, doesn't take cash, we're not taking gas out. But we are gonna take the food out and we're gonna take his fun money out and we're gonna take my fun money, but I have to subtract the $5 that I just spent on that. And then we're gonna take partial of the sinking fund out, okay? Just partial. Um, we're taking out partial because not everything needs cash. <laughs> what needs cash for the sinking fund would be the hurricane fund. Um, and I think that's it. Actually, let me actually go look at this. All these papers are so I know y'all can hear this chair squeaking. I actually use a kitchen chair to sit here and I probably need a real desk chair. If you're like, why? Cause I'm kind of high, high up. Like the chairs up here, the desk is down here. It's problematic. Okay. So it's really just a hurricane fund. Um, but we, I will be putting, we will be putting more money to like, to each of these. Well, this comes out my paycheck. And then we got the 291. We're gonna do that at the end of the month. And then we'll put it to the travel, hurricane, holiday savings, a month ahead. Emergency fund, we separate. Okay. So that's explaining that. So we're really only taking out 200 and, and 100. So that would only be $300. However, I probably like, I, like I already said, I got my drink <laughs> and that was my fun money, some of it. Okay, so I like to call these paychecks and a half and really he got this yesterday. So I'm gonna say February 15th, 2024. Okay, we'll say he started out with zero and we're going in the actual column. And this is, y'all, I hope I was commission. I hope I spelled this right. But my husband received, y'all, he had a nice commission check, $1,004.97. Okay. 
um so my husband like i told you guys previously he is on hourly but he gets hourly and then he gets his commission now if he wanted to get salary he would get a 401k i think they do one percent two percent match um well i won't say that they have 401k as it is but they would match however he wouldn't be able to get his commission and i guess i would have to like i don't know he has to decide how he feels about that because you know so i told you guys we were trying to keep his credit card away from him i have his credit card however he did spend money on his credit card for valentine's day this is i think before i had his credit card so what he did was paid it off and that was 197 dollars and eight cents okay okay so we're gonna put that there 197.08 and then we're gonna subtract that so one one thousand four dollars dot 97 cents i don't know why i press equal <laughs> minus 197 um dot oh eight that's why because it was 197 i saw 97 okay so night has 807.89 so that remaining here is 807.89 okay so now we're gonna go to really is just the savings bam so he has his emergency fund i told him he should give it a lot more money i don't know why emergency funds but hey and then his and hers our wedding is february is in april so eventually we'll stop saving for his and hers so for his emergency fund he ended up giving that 500 dollars. and then for their his and hers mind you this is an ohio savings account it's 307.89 and so the his and hers really come together with um, like we given deposits already, like deposits on the photographer, um, the DJ, and, and I'm talking about, and like a bartender. And I don't mean like super expensive. I told you guys, we're kind of doing this, well, no, not kind of, we're doing it out of our pocket and we're doing it affordable. At least if you know me, I'm kind of cheap, I'm frugal. So to me, I'm like, Ugh, this is not affordable. When I look up prices, this is affordable. So like our DJ is only $400. We gave him a $200 deposit, we owe him $200. The most expensive I think was the photographer because it was 2000, but it's photographers and a videographer. And I'm like, uh, memories, I think I want that. So that was the only reason. Um, bartender was also $400. Um, it's in a small town. It's not like in a big city. It's in a small local area. So we are not trying to go all out. I'm just going to be honest with you. I think the venue, our venue was 2200 But if we um, clean up the venue or whatever, because we're setting it up ourselves, we clean up the venue and leave it nice, we get $600 back. So let's, what was that? Maybe I need to like do a video. So it would only been 1600 And mind you, we get the venue for the whole weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So Friday we set up, we get married on a Saturday, and then Sunday we clean up give them the keys back so i'm excited that we're trying to save money if you don't know like my wedding dress was 200 dollars. my um alterations to the dress were 100 which i thought was ridiculous because like i spent over half but whatever life my husband's suit was 200 and some dollars um my shoes were 30 so i'm trying to like we're both trying to be nice looking look cute but also be affordable because that's the goal out here but i'm so proud of my husband um he puts in a lot of work a lot of effort at work that thousand dollars definitely goes to show for it the goal is to not have to give any money to credit card debt because it's just taking money so this is better than previously if you've seen uh, previous videos he has to like pay 400 500 worth of credit card debt so like we're doing good out here um he put more money to his and hers because we're taking money out as we shop as we blah, blah 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 we need decorations things like that and hopefully we can get his emergency fund up i have to check in his account and check in with him to see where he's at but yeah i think february the goals have been going um no complaints i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you go to paperbamo.com so you can get um that black history month sale also stay tuned for the giveaway that i will be doing this month and i will see you guys in another video bye